a return to normalcy at Bradley International Airport after all the recent snow. 22 News anchor Kate Walsh spoke with passengers who planned ahead to avoid delays. As the wind whipped snow across the tarmac at Bradley International Airport, crews tried to keep planes clear and passengers inside not seeing red. Monday morning, just a few flights were canceled, most to and from Newark, Washington and Toronto. One traveling businessman said he plans his flight strategically. Well, when you travel as often as I do, you're just going to you're going to be delayed. And you know that certain cities that you fly through like Newark or Philadelphia, you avoid those and other ones you just hope hope that you get through and get on to where you have to go. We spoke with one family from Western Massachusetts who changed their flight from early Monday morning to 11 o'clock to allow the airport enough time to clear the runways. Other families told us they simply kept checking their flight apps to make sure their flights were still on time. Robert and Melissa Rivera were visiting from Atlanta. They were already shocked enough by the heavy snow. Pretty cold <laughs> and, you know, pretty um, busy, you know, cleaning up the, the car and stuff like that. They didn't need a surprise flight cancellation added to that. I had the app. I just kept checking the app, the Delta app. Mm -hmm. and, so, and I would just keep checking and stay on time. And it kept giving us reminders that it was on time. Mm -hmm. Notifications, yeah. A gradual return to normal operations after Bradley spokesman Alyssa Sissick said 30% of flights were canceled during Sunday's snowstorm and nearly all flights grounded last Thursday. In Windsor Locks, Connecticut, Kate Walsh, 22 News.